let's talk about the lowest structure for uh let's say uh let's talk about lowest structure for let's say uh cl well that's incorrect but let me so let's say we want to draw a lower structure for cl f3 how do we do it well again first thing you want to do is write out your compounds and write out how much of each atom do you have now i'm going to go to the periodic table these are all halogens and we know that in the halogenic column everything in that um column uses or has seven valence electrons so i'm doing this to count out the total number of electrons that i have to place so in this case it becomes three times seven because i have three fluorines worth in uh that that's worth one um that's worth uh seven valence electrons a piece so this is three times seven which is 21 plus seven so that will be 28 so i have 28 total electrons to place so this would be 28 total electrons to place right so 28 total electrons that i have to place now the atom that's usually the first atom in the molecular formula is usually the atom that you place as a central atom so in this case chlorine will be your central atom and we essentially have three fluorines around it so at this point we could actually go ahead and form our single bonds right because it's the simplest bond that we could form so let's count how many electrons we've used thus far out of the 28 so this becomes two four six now interestingly fluorine is one of those atoms that has to satisfy the octet rule so since i have only two electrons around fluorine i could actually do an experiment and fit and and fill the octet with lone pairs so this becomes two four six eight and so this fluorine is satisfied so if this fluorine is satisfied i could pretty much do the same thing on the other side so it becomes two four six and then i have the double bond that makes eight the same thing would be true for this fluorine so let's count how many electrons this far we've used out of the 28 that we've counted so this becomes 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 right so we're missing four electrons now the fluorine are actually satisfied so we can't put any more electrons to any other fluorine atom so that means that the only place that we have to put our, the additional four electrons would actually be on the chlorine and this would be a plausible lower structure for the clf3 molecule now again in total we have 28 electrons that we counted and there's 28 electrons in the formula